Hey everyone, I'm Colin Brad. I'm a bodacious junior pro staff. So we had to make a pretty quick shot. We dropped him, so we'll go get a look at him. Everyone knows those people who love to be in front of the camera. That's Cole. Me, I do my best work behind the camera. I guess that's why this friendship works out so well. We grew up chasing white-tailed deer, always looking for that next big buck. But if someone told us that this is the big buck story we would find ourselves in, I'd call him a liar. From the highest of highs to the lowest of lows, this is the story of a deer that we call Droppy. <laughs> Are you even counting? You're kidding me. October the 13th. We got a big old slammer down. Cole filled his archery tag early in the 2022 season, not knowing what was going to show up on the cameras just a few days later. This deer showed up on a scrape on October 16th, and Cole named him Droppy. Brand new, don't even have the tags off. Knowing that Droppy survived the 2022 season, the hopes were high going into the 2023 season. Try to get a lot of food in here every year. It seems to attract a lot of the deer. It's a, it's a good, good spot to be come this fall. Today we've been waiting on since last year. The 2023 season started on the hunt for a different deer. Droppy hadn't shown up yet, but this really old and really unique nine-pointer was showing himself quite often. Get back, mule. Uh, September 15th. Feels dang good to be back at it, so we're excited. Hopefully I can sad see lots of deer. Might get lucky and see our shooter, you never know. I hunted Sunday, I can't remember what the date was then. 19th, 20th, I don't know, I th actually, no, I don't even know. I think it's like the 24th today. Lots of new bucks rolling in. We spent hours in a tree, and I know the thought of Droppy wasn't leaving Cole's mind. I had a deer show up two nights ago that I've been waiting on since last year. He's a really, really good deer. Um, still have that other, other good deer, but really just picking up a lot of new bucks. Droppy blew up this year, adding at least 30 inches to his rack. And knowing that he was alive changed everything for the rest of the season. It is pouring down rain. All, everything is underneath the umbrella here. We got my cameraman back, baby. I had it in here this morning, but we're gonna push a little further back, so. We couldn't figure this deer out, and it was really starting to take a toll on us. All right, November 9th, Connor and I are finally back together. Uh, a couple days before Missouri rifle season, we're trying to trying to fill a tag and get it get it done before rifle season. Sun's coming up. It's beautiful. It's cooling off. Still getting colder throughout the morning. All right, we're back out here. Again, we've uh, we've done this drive a lot this year. Burn a lot of diesel on this road. Yeah. If one does it right, this could this could be pretty epic. We were hoping the rut would give us a nice change of pace, but it didn't. All right, it is November tenth. Connor and I are back down to the farm, still chasing our big deer. Um, we we're planning on parking on the other side of the farm and accessing it that way this morning, but uh, right in the middle of the road was our target buck, and he actually ran back onto the farm, so that's good. But we're still gonna sit the same tree we'd planned on sitting. Um, we're just not gonna access it from that side because that's where he's at. So at least this morning we have a decent idea about where he is and. Uh, as long as we can get in there without busting him, we got a really good chance at him this morning, though. Um, he's out all alone searching for does. We just 
need to get lucky. But uh, it was cool to see him on the hoof for the first time, and uh, he's a great deer. I'm sorry, Connor. He saw me draw. I had to sit on 30. 27 right here. as can be. Um, Connor and I have worked so hard to, for that moment right there all year. And uh, clean mess. Just, it's part of bow hunting, man. It's uh, all time well. Um, the deer of a lifetime, especially from where we are, you just don't don't ever see deer like that. All before the sun's even up. <laughs> Miss Droppy this morning. That was still not quite over that yet. Um, it's a true once in a lifetime deer, and I was my goal was to get him killed before rifle. Um, had my opportunity, but we're hoping to get lucky twice. Connor and I are sitting over the big field. We can see the bluff and uh, our biggest food plot that we have here. But uh, there have been several deer out here every evening, and uh, really we're just hoping to get lucky. We didn't see too much this morning. Saw two buck bucks and a spike, and nobody else on the farm really saw a whole lot either. Didn't hear too many shots, really. We were at the lowest of lows. It couldn't get any worse. And it felt like we hit a reset button. And now we had to do this thing all over again. At this point, the battle wasn't just physical, but also mental. But something kept us going, and we knew we had to be out there in the woods. Somewhere close this morning, but uh, local GoFundMe backers, 
I killed one of my biggest deer right here in this very spot seven years ago today. So, uh, we're hoping history might repeat itself. But it's a beautiful morning. It's weirdly calm again. And uh, just glad to know that my buck's still alive, so we're going to keep after him. What are some wise words? Hmm, not right here. It's coming to the angle. And then the tree stand. Hmm? So I was doing the tree stand. Yeah. Me? It's, it's going yeah. up. Yeah. I said, you want to get there again? Oh, yeah. Um, we are still after it. We are. Uh, yeah. I'm dropping within here. Not in here. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. My head is not. Uh, in the right space hasn't been for since September 15th. Anyway, I'm tired. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's down! He's down! He's down! He's down! Right there! Oh my god! We just killed an absolute monster at 3.44 in the afternoon. I looked and I saw... I saw the legs. And I saw the drop time and I was like... It's him. It's him. Oh. Man, my parents are sitting not 150 yards back here behind us. And after my hooping and hollering, we're trying to be him to me. So let's go get this freaking beer. You're kidding me. Oh, he's beautiful. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh. Connor and I have worked so hard for this freaking deer. And he, this is the biggest deer I'll ever kill in my life, probably. But I can't thank that guy that's holding the camera right now enough. He, he stuck it out with me. We've been through a lot this year. Um, and I just don't even know what to say. I mean, are you kidding me? Just an absolute <laughs> giant. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what a freaking monster. <laughs> well, I don't even know what to say. Um, this is Droppy. This is the deer that Connor and I have been keeping a secret for probably close to three weeks now. Um, 
had him on camera last year and he was a probably 170 inch deer a giant deer and i couldn't kill him last year and um, he showed up a week later uh, than he did last year and absolutely blew up connor and i have basically lived out of a tree for the last three weeks doing everything we possibly can to kill this deer um, friday morning we saw this deer off the highway in the headlights as we were coming in to try to get in the stand to hunt him and uh, later that morning i ended up ended up missing him actually at 30 yards with my bow but uh it was we were out for redemption and uh the good lord sure did bless us with this deer um, we worked our tails off we we i don't even know how many hours we've set in a tree um but they don't make them any prettier than this i mean just an absolute monster and uh very blessed to even just get to hunt this deer let alone let alone kill him um I'd like to thank Connor for grinding this out with me. Um, we were at an all-time low after Friday morning after missing him. I'm sure you guys will, or you'll probably, you've probably already seen that at this point in the video. But uh, just to keep keep hammering and keep after it, and uh, to kill him at 3:44 in the afternoon, the second day of Missouri rifle season at five yards, um, just mind blown. He just came out of the food plot. And, a lot of a lot of hours a lot of strategizing um and a lot of a lot of boring sits went into that moment right there and i'm just forever forever grateful and um, i'm just thankful that the lord made made white-tailed deer i mean just an absolute monster but this is dropping What a crazy story to tell for the rest of our lives. I still can't believe it. Not just a big deer story, but a story of heart, discipline, and great friendship. Droppy brought out the best and the worst in us. I'll never be able to explain the emotions. From rock bottom to on top of the world, this was a roller coaster. It will be hard to top the chase for Droppy but I guarantee you that we will be out there trying.